Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions, Inc., and I've got another Microsoft Access tutorial for you. Today we're going to look at zipped files and compression. Uh, we're going to look at this on Windows 7, but the uh, information is pretty much the same for Windows XP and Windows 8. Uh, if we need to, we'll cover those in an additional video, and I'll drop links if we get those done into the description below. So what we're going to start with is, what is a zip file? Well, a zip file is a, a special type of file that allows the operating system or Windows to compress the file and make it smaller in size. And we'll show you an example of that. So what I have here is I have an example database on my desktop and I have a folder uh, that contains an example database. And we're going to try and zip these files. So the first thing we need to do is we'll right click on the desktop here. You can also right click on the white space in a, in a folder and we're going to go down to new. And from this menu, we're going to select compressed zip folder. Now we can name what that folder is called. So I'm going to call this new zip folder. And then just hit enter, click off the file to take the file name. And now that's, that's our zip file. It currently has nothing in it. We can double click on it. There are no files in it. And now we're going to try adding a file to it. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to take this example database file and we're just going to drag it with the left mouse button and put it right over the top of the zip file. Now if we open this file, we can see there's a copy of the example database. So let's look and see what the difference between this file just being on the desktop and the file being on the zip folder are. I'm going to right click and go to properties of the database. And we can see here the file size is just under 5 meg at uh, 4.92 megabytes. And if we right click and go to the properties of our zip file that contains that same database, we're going to see that the size is 857 kilobytes. That's almost reduced by a, by a factor of five. So zipping files makes it so that the file sizes are smaller. And especially with access databases, you can get a really good compression. So that makes it quicker for you to send the files to other computers or other people <coughs> and uh, makes life a lot easier on the internet. So we'll go ahead and close out of these. The next thing we're going to look at is what if we want to add a, f a, a folder that has a database in it, and it may even actually have multiple files. Well, we can do the same thing. We can hold down our left mouse button and just drag that folder over the zip file and we can double click it to open it up again and there is our example database folder and the example database that's contained within it and it will compress all the files that are contained within uh, each of the folders so now let's look at how are we going to get these files out of the zip folder well as I was showing you you can double click on the file uh, and you'll just see the files sitting there in in the, uh, the zip folder well let's say we want to extract these files um, you can drag and drop files we're gonna get a warning here because this is the same file that we already put in um, it's already located on the desktop so we're gonna say don't copy um, the same thing would happen if we try and drag and drop this folder it says we've already got this folder do you want to merge this with the folder we're gonna say no typically you're not gonna have these files so I'm gonna create a new folder here to show that we can just drag and drop these out I'll just leave it as new folder and I can drag out a single file or I can drag out the folder and we've got our files there and they have now been uh, extracted and decompressed from that zip file format and now we can use them normally the final thing I want to show you here is the other way of extracting files with Windows is you can right click on a, on a compressed folder or zip folder and you can go to extract all. And this will give you the option to, to browse to a location. Um, it will default a new folder name to whatever the name of the uh, zip file is. Um, and you can also check an option to show the extracted files once completed. <clears throat> so I'm going to click extract here and you can see it created a new folder on my desktop <clears throat> and it opened up that folder to show us that we have the example database and the example database folder containing another example database 
That's pretty much all there is to zip files. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Give us a like and subscribe. We're available on most of the major social media networks. I'll put links to those in the description. Have a great day and contact us for any of your access needs. Thanks.